The nervous wait for exam results is over, but today it's not the pupils, but the performance of the schools which is being judged. And at first glance, the numbers are not good. The floor target for any school is that 40% of pupils achieve five A to C grades at GCSE, including English and Maths. Now this year, 335 schools have failed to hit that target. That is double the previous year. But that's at least partly due to the fact that retakes of exams are now banned and some exams are also not recognised by the department. This West London comprehensive scores well above that 40% floor target, but this year there has been a dip and the head teacher's not happy about the tables. My concern is that they're inaccurate. Um, if a parent looks at it and sees four-year trends, um, they're going to compare this year with last year and they don't compare. Um, you're, you're, you're comparing different criteria completely. So that worries me that um, uh, some parents will understand it, but not all parents. Some of England's top private schools are fuming, places like Eton and Harrow, which adopted the international GCSE, only to have the Department of Education discount that exam. So when schools like that are officially near the bottom of the tables, surely something has gone badly wrong. I think it's very helpful for uh, families and students to have the figures, to know how their school uh, has been doing. And of course, you can compare uh, school with school in the 2014 uh, results table. But if you make that comparison, if you have a school who, for instance, pursued the IGCSE, they're scoring incredibly badly. They might still be a good school. That's why I say it's unfair to make the comparison this year. Well, schools received guidance on how the this year's league tables were going to uh, be formed. Uh, and uh, it's right, we have been reforming the GCSE uh, content, making sure that the GCSEs are more academically uh, rigorous. The people who will face those more rigorous GCSEs are students like these. So what do they make of the changes? We had the exams probably easier a few years ago. I think everyone should have like a fair chance. I have like this younger brother at home and he's in year nine, which means he's just going to do the new GCSE, which is really unfair because it means that I won't be able to help him. More rigorous exams with accurate performance tables. That is the aim, but you can forget about it for this year.